What was the budget for a satisfactory Taiwan travel? Everyone's question is that in their minds. Well, the good thing about Taiwan is it's a very affordable destination. Like it, it sometimes you could find a meal for say 100 NT, NT, and that's already like free ulam with rice and something <laughs> sweet. So it, it, it's just knowing where to go and where to find uh, the different meals. Different, they have criteria also. And um, when it comes to accommodations, there are hostels, there are apartments that are very easy on board. Oh, say, say natin yan. Kasi when you're talking about budget travel, the first one that really cuts into your budget force is airfare. That's the first yeah. one. Thankfully, we have low-cost carriers already. That's true. So without that, uh, in, in, you know, in, in, in the budget, with LCCs coming in, that's already a big chunk of it that's left for food and accommodation. Let's start with accommodation. You mentioned earlier that Taiwan doesn't have a lot of hostels. How much would that cost on the average? And please tell our viewers and our listeners now, what does it entail for you to survive a hostel? Uh, not hostile environment, but a hostel state. <laughs> Right, it's, it's never hostile in a hostel. Yes. The funny thing is when people, when we tell people that we love staying at hostels, that, that their idea of a hostel is much like, you remember the, the gory film hostel? They, they think it's dangerous. It is not. What we love about hostels is uh, the idea of meeting other travelers. Because we have like common areas, common rooms that you can do with meet other people from around the world. And, and another misconception about hostels is that it's all dorm rooms. Okay. There are private rooms in the dorm. I used to enjoy sleeping in a dorm, but then I started snoring. <laughs> and so, I'm going to go. So, parang after that. I'm going to take in the middle of the night. Yes, diba? I They'll smother you. Yeah. <laughs> They'll smother you. You, ne you never can tell. Yes. All right. So, accommodations, that's another check mark that we can click, tick off, right? When you travel, LCC, airfare, good. Uh, accommodations and there are a lot of choices as well you can go as high-end as you want and as poor traveler as you want as well food Vince mentioned earlier that that's not a problem because night market yes the answer to everything is the night market tell us about that experience um, favorite, um, favorite namin talaga yung mga night markets especially yun yung trip namin sa Wow, the night market, so uh, I think. But, um, um, interesting fact, may mga Michelin beef gourmet, beef gourmet uh, restaurants. Even in the night market, the Michelin Bib Gourmand is not a Michelin star, but they give this to establishments that deserve a recognition a little bit lower than the Michelin star, yes. Um, favorite, uh, among the three na na try namin, favorite to you, Pujo, Pepper Buns. Pepper Buns, describe it to us, ingitin mo kami, please. Ano siya, um, uh, oven, so, but it's shop out, yes. Because you know, buns is very Chinese. So, bun siya. Bun siya, tapos pinipake siya sa parang traditional na oven. So, parang bake shop out. Yes. Crusty on the outside. Crispy, crusty outside, pero super savory and juicy sa loob. Yung pork filling niya. So, saan yung pepper? Saan? Nakahalo din siya. Ah, so it's a little spicy. So it's like spicy mentos. It's like that, right? And also, it's also 60. We put it in 60 and 80. So that's around 105. Pesos? Wow. It's also big. So perfect. So budget food really is... Oh, my God. It's so far away from them. You know what? You can also... Ah, yes, the spotlight is here. What is that? You should know how to find your light. You should know how to find your light. Intimate, hayaan mo sila para sila wala dito. Kaya na nag-uusap. Okay, top three ang sinabi mo. One pa lang yun, the buns. Saan ang hahanap yun? Kasi ang alam ko, if you've never been to Taiwan, what's amazing about it is that their night markets are different every night market. It has a character that's unique to that night market and food that's unique to that night market. So saan yung buns? 
immediately sa editors ng Rao and I for them. Like, ah, you won't miss it kasi okay. meron siyang mahabang pila. Ah. Uh -oh. You know, that's a travel tip. I'm a travel writer myself. What I do when I travel is, I don't know what they're lining up for, but I will. Yeah. Kasi, hindi mo alam kung ano nasa dulo nun. Okay, kaya pala pinipilahan. That's when you realize it. Saka ano, um, favorite namin ko rin, before kami mag... Kahit lumabas, we planned everything. No, parang the night before, or before kami lumabas, sinacheck namin, dinugugan namin, ano ba yung mga okay na kainan dito sa mm. night markets? Especially, not just budget, but opening oh, times, yes. right? Kasi bak pagdating mo doon, sarado pala ng ganitong araw, or they're open only on certain hours. Do your homework. Yes. That's a tip for our poor travelers who are also listening. Otherwise, you waste your time. The good thing is, okay, going from one place to another, uh, Taiwan is huge in terms of an island. North to south, the Nami attractions. Is it easy to go around uh, Taiwan? Uh, yes, super easy. Because there are fast trains and even the uh, trains, metro, nila. super easy to use. And they are in key locations. Nila. So it's not easy to get up. Especially us, the first time na we uh, we travel to Walian, na parang one hour and forty five minutes. Yeah, Walian. If you take a look at the map, is right at the center, I yes. think, of Taiwan. It's east, right. on the yes. east coast, and Taipei is right on the top, right? So yeah, from Taipei, madaling ang putahan ng Walian. Mm -hmm. So parang again, parang research, parang research ahead of time. Kahit poor kayo, wag mo takot mag-travel. Lalo na, ano ka, <laughs> pag naligaw ka, or na, may na-miss out ng station, additional cost and time on your end. True, kasi you have to go back and spend. Unless naka-daily pass mo. So yun, okay lang, kahit tumalik ka ng dahan. Kasi, for example, sa... Ay, tanga ka! <laughs> <laughs> Palagi akong ganyan, I traveled to Tokyo, nasa dulo na pala ako ng tren. <laughs> Malik na naman ako, so parang sa mga natingin sa akin ng mga pagpapalik-balik ito, nagkamali pala ako. Pa para sa mga tanga katulad ko na to travel, the pass. Yes, and for example, sa Taipei, mayroon silang metro pass na tinatawag or easy for it. So it will give you um, easy access to them. But whenever we travel to Taiwan, we always visit like two or more destinations. Kasi the thing about Taiwan is, it's not as... It's not that big, like para siyang Luzon, but with a very efficient transportation system. So you could go from like the northernmost to the south, for example, can take to Kaohsiung in two hours. So okay. On the yeah. train. And along the way, ang dami mong may kita. And uh, very scenic. And um, even yung tickets namin, kinukuha lang namin from 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. So you could book online and then you can claim mo lang sa 7-Eleven. Sa 7-Eleven ka bumibili, tapos meron mga yung mga itlog-itlog na nasa tea, oh! di ba? <laughs> Okay, speaking of train stations, do you recognize what is right underneath us? Of course. Can you tell us about it? So, because uh, it reminds us of Shimendi in Taipei. This is the Shimendi. Yes. It's called the Rainbow Six. This is our uh, replica of it. It is a rainbow pedestrian crossing dedicated to our brothers and sisters in the LGBT Qua. Right? <laughs> in the LGBT Qua, after all, we just ended Pride Month, and what I want is the very first one to legalize same sex yes. marriage. And I think it's one of the friendliest countries in the LGBT groups. Yes. So it's something we should consider. Yeah, the, the, the colors of the rainbow. If it is their first time, because we have great news, we actually started with that. We announced it just last night. Visa free for Filipinos has been extended for another year. Yes. I think that deserves a round of applause, yes. right? Oh, 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 Taiwan, oh, para palak -pak na palak -pak oh, para extend, 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 extend right, Gary? <laughs> because we had people coming in, uh, and this is our second day here at TME, and people were asking the first day, is the visa going to not visa free going to be extended? Ayo pa namin bumili ng ticket kasi hindi pa namin alam. Uh, originally, it was until just July 31st, and just last night, they extended it already for another year. If it is their first time to travel to Taiwan, I want to hear like a tip from you and a tip from you. Okay, so how about now? Yes. Um, I think, but, uh, although it's visa free, there are still requirements that need to be uh, taken care of. So make sure that you have a returner onward ticket, number one. 
number two is proof of accommodation. So if you don't have, uh, if you're not staying with somebody that you know, make sure you have like a uh, hotel booking. And kung, mer kung meron naman kayong kakilala, make sure that uh, you have their address and contact number. And third is um, enough funds. So 